So, uh, today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. Now, on the channel, um, I always like how we have fun, we do stupid things, and we go crazy, and today I suppose I wanted to talk about something which uh, is, it, it affects me massively, and it affects so many people around the world, I cannot tell you. Um, it's tinnitus. Now, I have loads of other issues and things like that that I'm, I'm sure at some point in my, in my life I will talk to you guys about, but this is just the first thing that I wanted to discuss. Um, mainly because at the moment it's kind of heightened and, it, and, it's, and it's allowed and it's there and, I, and I'm hearing it and it's frustrating and depressing and upsetting and, and loads of things and that's why I wanted to talk about that I suppose. Um, now firstly you'll probably ask what is tinnitus because lots of you who are watching this have no clue what tinnitus is. Uh, tinnitus is a constant ringing in your ears. Now the ringing can be different, it can be high, it can be low, it can be a static noise. My tinnitus for example, if I listen to it now, is like a always. Tinnitus is a symptom which is ringing your ears constantly, it never goes away, it never disappears, it never subsides, it's always, always there. And what happens is, is that loads of reasons why people have tinnitus. Some people um, have tinnitus because there's a build of earwax and you can get rid of that. You can have an ear, earwax build up and that's fine, you can get rid of it. Um, other people have something called surface ear, so lots of surfers have it because they get water and then you can have an operation and that helps it out. Um, it's from hearing loss. If you have uh, hearing loss uh, when you're older, you can call have tinnitus. Um, uh, but the main reason why most people have it, like why I said 50 million in the US, 10 million in the UK, 1 in 10 people in the UK are affected by this problem. Um, and it's because you basically have these hair follicles in your ear. Now when your hair follicles hear noise, they get pushed back and then they're pushed back and the noise, so the noise hitting them pushes them back and it gets the frequency so you can hear it, right? Problem with my ears because I've had too much sound damage to them. I've been to too many clubs, too many gigs, listened to loud music too many times. Some of the ear, the hair follicles in the ear have bent back and haven't returned back to its original place. And so it's constantly like that. So the ear is constantly receiving frequencies from that hair that's bent back even though no noise is hitting it. So you have this constant ringing in the ears. And I suppose the reason why I wanted to talk about this is firstly uh, to everyone out there who is, goes to loud clubs, who uh, listens to loud music, who goes to gigs, who goes to festivals like I did, uh, please, please, please protect your ears. Wear earplugs, they're super cheap some of them, you can get some professionally made. Trust me, you will... I mean, it, it's the one thing I regret. I was always told to wear earplugs, always told to listen to music, and I thought I would never be affected by tinnitus. Why the hell would I be affected by them? But I was, and it hit me, and it was pretty bad. That's the first thing. And the second thing is to talk to people out there who are affected by tinnitus and hopefully connect with you, because I think it's really good when you hear other people talking about this problem. Uh, now, I first had tinnitus about a year and a half ago. Um, I went to, like I said, I used to go to clubs, used to go everything the whole time, never protect my ears and one day I woke up and I could hear this ringing. I don't know if you ever left a club um, and you've had that sort of like fuzzy, if you, if you put your fingers in your ears and you hear that noise, that's the noise you hear, it feels like your ears are blocked. I woke up and I was like, what is that noise? Um, and I was looking around in the house for it, trying to find where the noise was coming from and then I realised it was in my head. Now sometimes it affects one ear, sometimes it affects two ears. Uh, or the right or the left on other people. Mine affects both ears, so I hear it the whole time in my head. Um, and for the first four to six months, it was pretty detrimental. I, I mean, I, I, it, was, it was depressing, it was upsetting, it was um, horrible. It was really horrible. I, I would lie on the ground and get my friend Alex Mitten to put these wax things in my ear that drew out wax, because I was so sure there was there was something wrong with my ears. It, it couldn't be this tinnitus that had to go. Um, I went to uh, all sorts of doctors to find out what the problem was and they all said it, it's tinnitus. And, and you know the great thing about tinnitus is if you have it right now, it can go away, it can disappear. It means you just damaged your ear, but your ear will get better. Your, ears, your, your body's amazing, it fixes things. Unfortunately for me, mine, mine never fixed. And I, and I have it to this day and I have it for life. So the first thing I want to say to all of you guys out there who um, don't uh, protect your ears and who go to loud clubs and do all those kind of things, let's loud music, please, 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 I beg you, protect your ears. Go and buy earplugs, go and do it. It's so important 
uh, and you, you, know, you will not have this tinnitus problem. Uh, now, to all of you who actually have tinnitus, like me, um, listen, I know how you feel. It's horrible. It's awful. The problem with tinnitus is that when you're anxious or depressed or you're thinking about it or you're worried about it, it only heightens it. Um, and that's the most annoying thing in the world about it, is that when something is affecting you so bad, all you do is you focus on that problem and you really obsess over it. And with tinnitus, that makes it worse. Um, you know, there are lots of, of things to do to try help it. Cognitive therapy um, is, is very good. You can do uh, white noise therapy, which is playing noise of the set, like a frequency into your ear, and supposedly that helps. Um, I've, you know, in my honest opinion, I've tried these things and they haven't worked. Um, all I can tell you is 100% it gets better. Your body is, is an amazing kind of instrument and it, and it kind of fixes itself and you kind of get used to it. It is torturous when it first begins. It's horrible. Loads of my friends have it. But I suppose I wanted to share this with you is because when I first started getting tinnitus, when I first had tinnitus, I, I didn't really know anyone else who had it. I never spoke to anyone else about it. And it was so, what helped me so much was discussing it with other people and talking about it with other people and saying, do you have this? And they said, yes, and it made me feel better. It made me kind of relate and go, thank God, I'm not the only person with this ringing in my ears. Um, I also, what I did was I, <clears throat> I googled what celebrities had uh, tinnitus and turns out all the rock stars do. All, I mean, Chris Martin, Bob Streisand, I mean the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So many people have it and that weirdly made me feel better that I wasn't the only person in the entire world suffering from this constant insane ringing. Um, and I just, I just wanted to share that with you. I, I, I wanted to say that, uh, firstly, if any of you guys have any issues with tinnitus and um, you, you wanted uh, some help or just to talk to me about it, or something that I'm going to leave a little link below and so you can email me and hopefully that helps you out because with these things, the only thing I say is that sticking together and talking about this stuff with each other actually makes it, f helps it so much more. And I realized that, you know, I, I do have a little bit of a voice. I, you know, I have an audience that I can speak to and, and you guys sometimes listen, sometimes you don't. But I think with a voice and, and with a, I suppose, a persona that people know about, it's good to talk about these things because um, it makes other people feel like they're not alone. Um, so that's my little tender story I wanted to share with you. I'm the biggest hypochondriac person out there, okay? And if I can get through this, so can you. All right, guys, peace out. Love you. I uh, hope I'm helping some of you. Um, thank you for watching once again. Remember, if you like the video, subscribe and, and thumbs up and all those kind of things. And yeah, please get in touch with the link because I want to help you out. Love to you all.